guys, and welcome back to the Pokemon Show That with me, Puck Ranger Mike. And today we're going to be jumping on to the OU ladder with a team that I made. So this is my rendition of the rain team. So we got Pelipper, who's rocking Scald, Hurricane, Etern, and Knockoff, who's got the Damp Rock. So this is our uh, rain setter. He's kind of the pivotal part of our team. Make sure that we get the rain abusers to uh, do their jobs. Got knockoff to kind of take care of any pesky items that might happen. You turn to kind of go into one of our other members who can abuse the rain even more. And yeah, so then we got our Mega Swamper who's got the uh, Swift Swim ability once he Mega Evolves, which doubles his speed. We got Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Pirate Punch. The Pirate Punch is there to get like a little bit extra boost if we uh, if our opponent has like a weakened Pokemon. You can knock him out with the power up punch and then possibly sweep through the rest of the team. Then we got Poseidon, who's rocking the uh, choice specs. We got Swift Swim as well with Surf, Ice Beam, Draco Meteor, and Hydro Pump. Um, the Surf in the rain is incredibly strong, especially with the choice specs, and he is super fast. You're rocking that modest nature to do a little bit extra damage. Then we got Origami, the Kartana, who's got Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Night Slash. With the grass in Z. Um, the reason why I put Cartana on this team was because I wanted a uh, thigh with Fitwell and kind of another sweeper to go on. I'm not as familiar with you know high octane offensive teams, but I thought I would give it a try. Um, and Beast Boost is you know pretty good on him. And if we can get rolling with uh, you know the grass in Z, that'd be good. The rain also reduces the damage of fire moves, which Carton takes four times super effective, so it's pretty good. Then we got our Mew, who's got the Culver Berry to take um, dark moves better. We got Will this Defog, Roost, and Scythe Shock. Um, so yeah, kind of your average Mew. Put a fairly defensive set on him. Want a little bit of speed, um, a little bit of defense, but mainly special defense. And we got Raikage, the Raiko. Um, who's got Vol Switch, Thunder, since we have the Rain, Himpower Ice, and Calm Mind with Leftovers. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the team. Let me know what you guys think of it, and we'll jump in for some battles. Let me uh, get out of that and get started. So let me know which uh, Pokemon you think is going to put in the most work today. As we got an interesting team. Hmm... My guess is he's most likely going to lead off with either his Nidoqueen or his Aerodactyl. In that case, I think I could pretty much lead with... I think I can lead pretty safe... Oh, it goes off with Snorlax. Interesting. Um, I'm going to knock off right away because I don't want him to be like a... Um, recycle set. Oh, interesting. He doesn't have an item, so most likely he's rocking um, a Z move of some sort. I'm just going to Scald, hope for the burn. And he gets a crit. I'm going to Scald one more time. Hopefully, I can get the burn this time. There we go. Ooh. Nice. We survived just barely. Because of the burn. And we'll knock him out. If he brings in something faster than me, I'm going to have to switch out so that way I can preserve, preserve my rain. And in this situation, I'm going to go into our. Um, let's go into Raikou. Shadow Ball does 32, so not very much damage whatsoever. Just playing the Calm Mind. As he switches in Nail Queen. Um, at this point, I think I'll just hand Power Ice and see how much damage it does. Okay, two hit KO. As he has Earthquake. That's interesting. Okay. Not sure about his choice on that, but oh well. 
Alright, so I am faster than him. So I'm going to go for the bolt switch. And, yep, with my combine boost, I am faster. So now I'm going to switch into our Pelper again. Get the rain up. And we will U-turn because I am definitely faster. I could U-turn or I could knock off. I think I'm the knockoff. So once again, he either has no item or Z move. So I'm just going to switch in the right Kage and I'm going to go for the Thunder. And so my plan is that. Okay, he switched it out. Not sure why. He goes from one thing weak, the electric, into another thing. So unless he's choice scarf, I will be faster. I'm just gonna hit him with a thunder. I am. Almost knocks him out. Then he'll knock me out. That's fine. Um, we're gonna go into our swamper. We'll mega evolve and we'll go for the earthquake. Yep, and we still got three turns left to rain. So this should be a very easy knockout. I'm going to go for a power punch into an earthquake, and that should easily knock him out. Right. And that's GG to my opponent. We are at the bottom of the ladder, so I'm not expecting my opponents to be exceptionally good. Interesting team on my opponent's part. I'm going to leave the my Pelper in the back because he does have nine tails, so he's probably going to try to go. Okay, maybe forfeits. So I was going to have my Pelper in the back, um, so that way I could put up the rain to get rid of the Aurora Veil. Interesting, interesting. Seems the Ansi is pretty popular at the moment. Um, so I am going to. Who would lead off with? <laughs> I think I will want to lead off with um, let's lead off with Mew. Okay. Interesting. I'll just slide shock. 21, he moon blasts. That's fine. Moon blast again. Now side shock. Ooh. Okay. I see you. Interesting. I'm going to Psy Shock again. Yep, he Mega Evolves. Moon Blast. Ooh, I get a crit. Alright, so at this point, I am going to switch out. Uh, 360. 350, I should say. Um, so I will switch into my Raikage. Ooh, that did a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Um, at this point, I will Volt Switch. That's fine. I'm the Roost now. He Stealth Rocks, that's fine, because I have Defog. Go into our Kartana. Oof. You know, I, I just kind of want to go for it. I know I'm probably get knocked out. Ah, oh, he had the Empire Fire. Okay. That is unfortunate. 
I figured something like that was going to happen. Um, let's go into our developer and we'll just skull. Okay. Let's go for the knockoff. Yeah, shed shell. Okay. Let's go for the hurricane. Ooh, okay. Does not do much at all. We'll go for the U-turn. It's gonna do more than me, but that's fine. He misses. It's unfortunate for him. I'm in the roost. Pretty much at the moment, I just need to kind of bust through some of his defense. That way I can bring in my Mega Swamper slash Kingdra, and then I should be able to sweep pretty well through the rest of his team. I'm going to defog. And he does have me in a tricky situation at the moment. So I think I'm going to have to let my Mew go down. I'm going to go into my Pelper. Um, and then... I think I'm going to double switch. Oh, he stayed in. And he gets crit on me. Awesome. Um, let's go for the waterfall. Ah, man. I was really thinking about going for the earthquake to cover this mainly. Okay. He's playing around well. Oh, okay. So he is... Choice Scarf, Ladios. That's unfortunate for me. Fortunately, I think I'm going to lose this one. Another Surf should take him out. Uh, let's go for the Surf. 31. Stealth Rocks. Okay. Two. So I'm going to switch in. I'm going to sack off my Raikage. I'm surprised he did that, honestly. We're gonna knock off. Surprised that <laughs> did so much, but oh well. Um, just gonna have to go for hydro pumps and hope they land. Yep, he makes a good move of uh, switch out. He's gonna just come back in and drink a meteor. So GG to my punt. Yeah, the pretty annoying team, but oh well. The Mega Dancy kind of uh, ran through a lot of my team as I let my uh, Kirtana go down to the uh, Hint Powered Fire. I'm not sure why he went into land, though. He should just be going out to his Latios. I, I do not understand. Don't 
Okay. Oh, he wasn't. The king just sweep. Oh my gosh. I thought I I thought for sure that he was Scarfines Lavios, unless I'm still faster. That's crazy. We hit all the hydro pumps. Yeah. Okay. So now we got rain versus sand. Which for the most part, I'm kind of in the bear position. So that's kind of funny. Um, I think I'm just going to lead off with Mew. And just get a Will-O-Wisp off. Hopefully I'll land. And I'm just going to defog. As I'm the punt timer because he's taking a while to think. All right, hit Paladon. I'm just gonna will wisp him as well. He yawns me. Okay. At this point, I'm going to switch out into my Pelper, get rid of his sand. Ooh, he's trying to abuse the, uh, the sand, but I got rid of it. Is he rock slides? Oh my gosh. There we go. I don't think the crit mattered, but living on 1%, that's pretty good. So I'm going to U-turn because I am faster. And just going to go out in the Mew again. As he body slams. Interesting. Not sure what that was about. I'll just side shock here. Goes in the I thought he might have, but I don't really mind, honestly. I'm just going to roost, see if he he's not Scarf, so that's good. He might be Specs with that damage, but I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to do a Calc on it. Um, and I'm the Will Wisp again. Oh, I missed. Oh, yo. Um, though with that damage, I'm the Roost again. Okay, I'm going to roost one more time. If he goes for a Thunderbolt here, I'm going to assume that he specs. Yeah. So we're going to go into our Mega Swampert. And let's go for a power punch. Unfortunately, I think he's going to be unaware. Um, I'm going to go back in the Mew. Oh, yeah. He actually has Heal Bell. That's crazy. This is kind of to see if uh, this Clefable is... Yeah. So he's Magic Guard and not unaware. So that's very good knowledge. So we're in the Will-O-Wisp again. As I miss again. <laughs> he slacks a off. So that's fine. So I'm the Will-O-Wisp. As he yawns. Once again, fine with that. Um, 
Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to go into our origami. Ooh. And I'm the Bloom Doom. And he is gone. And this very well might be the end for his team. Yep. He said GG. And he forfeits. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, but yeah, that was a really good game. Um, I'm really liking the team so far. It's putting in a lot of work. This is a unique team, to say the least. I like how he has both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Gotta be careful of the uh, Alakazam. Tap Coco. Okay. So let's uh let's lead off with Mew as he leads off with Top Coco. Um I think I could probably switch fairly easily into our Swamper, so I'm gonna do that. As he U-turns, okay. Yeah. Once I break Okay, interesting. I'm just going to go for the Mega and Earthquake. I don't think he should be able to knock me out at this range. Um, I should be able to do a significant amount of damage to him. Oh, never mind. He's going for a Z move, Shared Psyche. Well, that's good now. Let's go into our Pelipper, and then we are going to U-turn. Oh, he had Thunderbolt. <laughs> well, time to make use of the rain. We're in the Hydro Pump. Try to knock him out. Well, this was very unfortunate to start off. I did not expect the Shared Psyche. I wasn't sure if he was physical or special. I should have probably checked ahead of time. No, oh, and I miss. That's rough. Kingjoy, you failed me. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Didn't even knock him out. So let's go here and we'll go for the smart strike. We go send top Coco. Oh, and we get a crit. That's pretty crazy. Hit Mon Lee. Defense, okay. Let's go for the Bloom Doom. Oh, he knocks me out. Ah, oh, that's that's rough. Let's go for the Will O Wisp. These stone edges. Go for the Psy Shock. This is pretty good for me because I can roost here. Get back almost all the way up to full. Then if he brings in his Hoopa, yep, I will go for the will -Wisp. Most likely he's going to go for a Dark move, which I do have the Culver Berry. Please land. Thank you. So all comes down to the last couple. Alakazam. 
We're in the roost. Want to see if he's mega or not. Yep, he was. He's going to synchronize. And substitutes. Okay. That's going to be GG, unfortunately. Because if he has combine, then I pretty much lose. Yeah. Keep sh Sly shocking. No, oh, he should have all. And he gets a crit. <laughs> oh well. This is a pretty good game. GG to my opponent. He played well in the beginning. I was able to bring him back a little bit, but not enough, unfortunately. And I am definitely not faster. And to, for me to win, I'd have to get like a crit with Thunder. Ooh. Oh, I got the Paralyze! That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to win this, but that's pretty funny. That was my only other way to uh, get rid of Salkazam is to Paralyze him, if it didn't knock him out. But he's going to bring in the Mimikyu. Um, with the Skies up, he's going to be able to take one hit and then knock me out. I'm going to guess with a Shell Claw. Let's see if I was correct. Yep. So, GG to my opponent. It's a pretty good game. So, that's going to wrap up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys liked my team that I put together. If you have any suggestions on teams or Pokemon that you would like to see, please let me know and I will bring those to you. But stay super fantastic, guys.